Hi, I'm Charles, and I did kind of a big project and I wanted to share it with you. I've got my test mule guitar here. You may remember it from a video I did uh, for partial coil splitting uh, using resistors. Had a four-way uh, clicky switch with three different resistors on there to vary how much coil was splitting to vary the sound of the pickup. I wanted to expand on that so um, you see another switch here. It, it gets pretty nasty. <laughs> anyway, um, I was reading an article in PremierGuitar.com uh, regarding a uh, virtual dummy coil using a cap and resistor. It's a mod that Fender did uh, in uh, one of their Jaguar Jazzmaster models. And um, there's a humbucking pickup that using a cap and resistor uh, it was supposed to cancel out some of that 60 cycle hum. Um, it expanded on that with different cap and resistor values that might work better. Um, so I tried it. Um, I didn't notice a big difference as far as cutting out hum, but I did notice a big voicing difference. So you can make this humbucking pickup sound way different with different resistor capacitor uh, combinations. What I did is I switched to six way clicky switches. I'm using five different resistors on one, five different capacitors on another, with the sixth lug open so I could still get my full hop backing sound. Please don't mind the tuning. Um, and the guitar is tuned down to E flat. Anyway, full humbucking sound. So what I did is I used um, several different resistors and capacitors that were suggested in that article um, and kind of went from there. So the way I have it set up, all the way up, the sixth position is no load. First position on the resistor switch is 2K then 3.3K, then 4.7K, then 6.8K, then 10K, and then no load. For the capacitor switch, first position, 0 0.068 microfarads, second position, 0 0.047 microfarads, third position, 0 0.033 microfarads, fourth position, 0 0.022 microfarads, fifth position, 0 0.01 microfarads, sixth position, no load. Duh, okay, so, uh, just to start, let's listen to the resistors with no capacitors. So, the first position is the 2K, 3.3K, 4.7K, 6.8K, 10K, Full humbucker. So just to show a big difference that this capacitors will do, I'm gonna go all the way back to the first position on the capacitors, first position on the resistor. So 2K, sorry, it's a 2K <laughs> resistor with a 0 0.068 microfarad capacitor. Now I noticed there's quite a bit of a scoop there, so let's pull no capacitor. 0 0.068 microfarad capacitor. Leaving it on the 2K resistor, now I'm just going to go through the different capacitors. So there's the 0 0.068 microfarads, 0 0.047, 0 0.033, 0 0.022, 0 0.01. Full humbucker. So you may have noticed when I go to the 0 0.01 microfarads capacitor, it's really full of mid range, getting pretty close to a full humbucker sound. So much so that if I put it on the 10K resistor with the 0 0.01 microfarads capacitor, it's virtually as full as the full humbucker. So doing a guitar like this doesn't make any sense. The switching is near impossible, but I did find some really cool combinations. My very favorite would be the second position, which is 3.3K resistor with the third position, which is a 0 0.033 microfarad capacitor. Kind of a cool single coil sound, but still um, a little warmer. If you want to go ultra single coil, my favorite for that is the 2K resistor with a 0 0.068 microfarad capacitor. 
that's kind of that scooped one. And then for a fuller single coil sound, more like a P90, I like the 10K resistor, but use my fourth position, which is a 0 0.022 microfarad capacitor. One, two, three, four. Still full humbucker. That other position. So, hopefully you were able to hear kind of a difference between them and uh, get kind of what I was after uh, for this project. Now, to do a project like this, the switches are pretty cheap. I bought a four pack for like 10 bucks on uh, Amazon. You do need a multimeter because you'll need to be able to measure and see which lugs correspond with which lugs. You'll also want to make sure that your resistors are intolerance. If they get mixed up, you know which ones are which. Um, you need to have um, ample time and soldering skills. Uh, I don't know if any luthiers would be willing to do this for you. Even though it's only 15, 20 bucks in parts, unfortunately getting a switch done like this is probably gonna cost like 50, 60 bucks because uh, you have to um, pay for the, the person to take the time to wire it up. So I am going to throw at the end of the video a couple more demos using a, a graph. Hopefully we can see if we can see what frequencies are being accentuated, uh, help get a visual representation of what we're hearing. Hope you like the idea and the video and uh, have a good one.